Hi, I'm meteorologist Tony Petraka in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the uh, Weather Now link on this uh, Sunday evening, Super Bowl Sunday at about uh, looking at almost 6 to 6 15 in the evening. Uh, we do have a winter storm on the way specifically for Tuesday. And here are the updated watches and warnings from the National Weather Service areas in pink. It is a winter storm warning that includes Providence County, uh, Western Kent County, a good deal of Connecticut. South and east of that, it's a winter storm watch. So the warning meaning um, by definition, six or more inches of snow expected in this area in pink. And the watch means that there's the potential for six or more inches of snow. I'm going to show you, obviously, the snowfall accumulation forecast in just a second. Let's first start with um, uh, the weather timeline. Uh, we're dry tonight. Tomorrow is, is actually a nice day. There's no weather issues with Monday, even Monday evening. It's not until late Monday night. And we're thinking after midnight, we'll start with, with a wintry mix of some sleet and some rain and snow, and then changing to all snow, heavy at times by daybreak on Tuesday. Tuesday's a tough travel day. So snow heavy at times on Tuesday, both morning and afternoon commute. It winds down early Tuesday night, shutting down around 7 o'clock, but still some slick travel at that time and uh, some gusty wind. Uh, so as far as impacts, uh, snow, uh, the potential is there for, you know, away from the coastline, 6 to 10 inches of snow. And we'll show you that map specifically in just a second. Uh, strong wind gusts anywhere from 30 to 45 miles per hour. That will reduce visibility. Strongest winds along the coastline. And again, poor travel both Tuesday morning and into Tuesday afternoon. More than likely cancellations and delays uh, coming up on Tuesday. In the meantime, it, it is quiet uh, looking at Providence right now. Heading out this evening, the weather looks fine, and that dry weather will extend into uh, Monday as well. And again, we'll show you some specifics as far as accumulations in just a second. Temps down, not bad. It's in the uh, the lower to middle 40s as of the 6 o'clock hour, currently 44, both Providence and New Bedford. Our threat tracker remains low tonight through really a good part of Monday, but pre-dawn Tuesday and really all of Tuesday morning and afternoon, um, bumping it up to yellow here, weather alert for good reasons, as we do have enough snow to uh, plow and shovel. So a coastal storm uh, with some snow and uh, wind. All right, here's the latest satellite and radar composite. It is quiet across New England. Uh, you can see moisture across the southeast. And what will happen is an area of low pressure will come out of the deep south and then track north and east and then redevelop off the mid-Atlantic coast uh, by uh, Tuesday morning and then track just south and east of of Cape Cod Tuesday afternoon and early Tuesday evening. So let's take this into the future <laughs> over the next uh, couple of days. And now here we are on Monday afternoon. Uh, the weather's fine, uh, dry with sunshine. There's the primary low uh, across uh, the Mississippi Valley. That's Monday. Jump ahead now to Monday evening. <laughs> Excuse me, we're still dry. Clouds on the increase. Area of low pressure now uh, approaching uh, West Virginia. What will happen is the second storm will form. Watch right off. It'll kind of what we call a pressure jump. Now, this is Tuesday pre-dawn. So around midnight, just after midnight, late tomorrow night, precipitation breaking out. Now, it actually starts as rain and sleet and then switches over to snow by sunrise on Tuesday morning. And right there, there's that uh, secondary storm forming south of New England. The strip of blue is a windswept heavy snow. This is a Tuesday morning. Notice as we get into Tuesday afternoon, uh, this extends into the afternoon and early evening commute and then pulling away by early Tuesday night. As far as snowfall accumulations, <laughs> this, is a, this is always the tricky part, right? I mean, keep in mind, this is only Sunday uh, night. Did we just freeze up? No, are we, are we back? Okay, I thought. I thought the computer locked up. All right, so this is only, um, we're only at Sunday night. These amounts won't be realized till Tuesday evening. So you get the idea. You really want to check back with us tonight uh, at, on Fox Providence at 10 o'clock and then again uh, at 11 o'clock tonight and certainly with TJ in the morning and myself tomorrow night. So the, early, the call here is this area, dark blue, anywhere from 6 to 10 inches of snow. So what we're trying to convey here is on the low end, it could be 6, and on the high end, 10. But even the low end, 6, is, you know, significant, obviously. So somewhere in that range, higher amounts up in the Foster Gloucester Burrowville area. I would say the most difficult part of the forecast is right down in here. We're going 4 to 6 south shore. But 
Should the storm track a little further south, these amounts would, tend, would, would have to be brought up. So we're confident with a general 6 to 10 here, and then the 4 to 6 along the south shore, but still a degree of uncertainty, so check back with us. But regardless, uh, that is a significant amount of snow, considering that we haven't had much this winter. So again, on the low end, 6. On the high end, 10. is going to fall somewhere in there, and then 4 to 6. Uh, out towards the Cape, 3 to 4. All right, seven-day forecast. We're dry tonight. Your know, Monday is fine, and then late, late Monday night, around midnight, and certainly into Tuesday with our winter storm with accumulating snow and wind. And then the rest of the week is quiet, though colder, trending colder, with daytime highs in the 30s. And again, uh, check back with us. Uh, you know, always some a degree of uncertainty with these storms. Check back with us tonight at 10 o'clock on Fox Providence uh, at 11 o'clock on WPRI. You know, check in with TJ in the morning and then check in with me again tomorrow. Even tomorrow evening, tomorrow night during our newscast, the weather is still dry. And then things start to ramp up as we get towards um, towards daybreak on Tuesday.